What's up? It's your boy Remus, and welcome back to the Champ Set Podcast, the podcast for champions. If you're not, a, if you're not a champion, at least in here, you don't have to have the belt because a lot of these guys, they're champions in name and they're champions in title. They got a title, yeah, but they're not champions in here, so it doesn't even count. We're talking to the guys that want to push harder than what is already being done by everyone else. And you know, I woke up feeling real, real fucking pumped and I want to share this energy with you, right? Um, I was thinking about a message I got a couple days ago. I think it was either a comment or a message. And it was someone saying, you know, watch out for me because I'm going to be the next generation's champion or whatever. Give me a couple years and, you know, in three years I'm going to be champion. And to be fair, I get a lot of messages um, like that, but I actually like it. I want to see that. I want to see you guys believing in yourself, knowing and, and seeing yourself as the champion in a couple years. Because what I've realized is, there's a, as I've just said, I get a lot of messages like that. So there's a lot of people that think like that. But you've got to then do more to push yourself than the person, the other people who are saying those things and thinking those things. And you've got to be able to look at the champions now and really, really start to increase your standards so much that you get disgusted at the idea of these guys holding your belt. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're not there. It doesn't matter if you've been in it for six months or or, or six years. It really, really doesn't matter. So for example, this is what I mean. If you're 147 pounds or you're 69 kilos, you're around the world weight division is what I mean. You should be looking at a guy like Pacquiao, Errol Spence, Ter Terence Crawford, and you should be saying, even though these guys are magnificent, up the expectations and, and, and that part of your ego so much that you look at those guys with your belt and you call it your belt and you say, these guys are just borrowing it. Thank you for holding my belts. It's just because I've not come of age. That's how you should be looking at it. The same way like, um, you know, in the olden days, it would be a king. Like, let's say a king had a son, but the son was too young to rule by um, if the king died early. You know, died early, meaning the, the kid was below 16 or 18, I think it was. Then someone else would have to step in and they would have to rule. It would, it would, they would be called the Lord Protector, or at least in, in England they would be, right? And that Lord Protector would oversee the realm until the prince comes of age. But the Lord Protector isn't the king. He's just acting as the acting as the king because the prince isn't yet come of hasn't yet come of age. And that's what I would see you see yourself as. The prince who hasn't come of age yet, but he's coming. So it doesn't even matter if if it's a great fighter like Terence Crawford doesn't matter if it's a great fight like Errol Spence you tell yourself you're better than them right now doesn't matter if, if you've been in it for six months six weeks if you've decided you want to be a champion you embody that right fucking now you say to yourself the only reason why you're getting the attention right now um let's say you're in the, um you're around 135 pounds and you see Devin Haney Ryan Garcia Tank Davis and um, Lomachenko, all of Teofimo Lopez, all of them. You say the only reason why every, you're getting all of the um, the, the the accolades or and the attention is because I have not come of age, but I'm coming. So you guys, you guys borrow the attention because when I rule, it's gonna be total. Like when I rule, I'm gonna take suck all of the energy out of the boxing world from the boxing world, and it's gonna go straight to me. Now. The point is, if you think of yourself like this, are you not going to train a bit harder? It's going to be easier to wake up at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. to go for a, a, a five-mile run because that's the standard that you've set for yourself. And that's why I even like a guy like Ryan Garcia, you know, because I feel like he almost brings a degree of that energy by calling out guys like Tank. And he, he, he I saw it, he said to... um. Devin Haney, yeah, he's got the belt, but I, I don't really... I'm the people's champion. Now, you could d disagree or agree with that, or it really doesn't fucking matter because it's what about... It's, it's, it's about what the guy thinks. 
if you tell yourself that's how it is, that's how it is. They have to prove you wrong. The world is going to have to prove you wrong. You say, hey, you're a heavyweight and you look at AJ, you look at Tyson Fury, Wilder, Dion, uh, Dillian White or any of and Andy Ruiz. You look at them and say, yeah, you guys get the attention from now. So, enjoy it. Because once I come, I'm taking all of the attention. It's going straight to me. It's going straight to me. You guys enjoy the belts. But just, just keep in mind that that's my belt. You're borrowing it. I'm renting it to you. Just so I can work on my craft. And when I've finished working on it, no one else is going to get a shirt. No one else. And that's the ego that no one else is going to tell you to have. I would tell you to have that. I want you to have that. I want you to be so arrogant with humility to train. I want you to be so arrogant you think yourself better than all of these men. But you have the humility that you understand it's not, you're not entitled to it. So you train harder than every other man. How about that? How about that to start your fucking day? What about that energy? That's it from me. I'll see you in the next one.